Hi everybody, welcome back to Storytime with Miss Rachie. And for those of you who don't know, I am originally from the great state of Michigan. And so this next book is all about where I'm from. It is called M is for Mitten. And this book it has a couple of sidebars with more information about all things in Michigan. And I'm not gonna read all of those details, but I will be sure to include a link of where you can buy this book in the description below. So if you like to go ahead and learn more about Michigan, you can do so that way. But let's go ahead and jump right in. M is for Mitten, a Michigan alphabet. This is written by Annie Appleford, poems by Kathy Jo Worgan, and illustrated by Michael Glenn Monroe. A is for the apple blossom, frilly as can be, it dances in the springtime breeze upon the apple tree. B is for a great big bridge that's called the Mighty Mac. Whichever side you may be on, you can drive across and back. Now C is for cherry. Little sweet ones fill my belly. Tart ones make me pucker, so they're used in jam and jelly. Do you see anything else on this page that begins with the letter C? I see a cute little chipmunk. D is for Detroit. It's called the Motor City, where cars roll out of factories, so bright and new and pretty. Eastern white pine starts with an E, a tree so tall and straight, cut for timber long ago all throughout our state. We've had fun from A to E. What is next? Look and see. F stands for Gerald R. Ford. He was a president long ago. He is a very special man from Michigan, did you know? I did not know that, that is awesome. G is for our Great Lakes, with water fresh and clear. To see a state that's edged in blue, just take a good look here. Michigan is full of wonder, and now you can see why. Let's turn the page and take a peek at the letters H and I. H is for the harbors, filled with boats and lights and docks. Some are soft and sandy, and some are filled with rocks. I is for the islands, there are many to be found. A piece of land that's big or small, with water all around. J is for the Jiffy Mix, a quick and easy treat. And the letter K is for Kellogg. They make breakfast good to eat. Crunch, crunch, mmm. I love Frosted Flakes. Lansing starts with the letter L. It's the capital of our state. Here the rules and laws are made that make Michigan so great. Now we have a special letter I'm sure you'll understand. M is for Mitten, the shape of our land. To see Lower Michigan, just hold up your hand. N is for the native people paddling in the north and for the northern lights flashing back and forth. I think the northern lights are so beautiful. And I can remember seeing them when I was a little girl. And O is for the ore boats that cross our lake with pride. They carry precious cargo to and from the ocean wide. P will stand for painted turtle floating out of reach and also for Petoskey stone hiding on the beach. Q is for the quadricycle rumbling near and far 
With just four wheels and one small seat, it was Henry Ford's first car. R is for the robin with red upon her breast, singing in the springtime to the babies in her nest. Now S is for our sand dunes drifting near the shore. When the wind begins to blow, they change their shapes once more. Tequamanon begins with T, two waterfalls on a river. The water rushes by so fast, it almost makes us quiver. Ooh, what a sight, falling, falling with all its might. Those waterfalls are so beautiful. Upper Peninsula begins with you, rugged beauty for all to see. Lakes and rivers, ponds and streams are part of the great UP. Verner's is a soda pop that starts with the letter V. The first one made in the USA, it's as tasty as can be. Fzz, fzz, the sound that a ginger ale makes. W is for white-tailed deer as well as wolverine. Wherever you are in Michigan, there's wildlife to be seen. The letter X marks the spot where ships have met their fate. Deep beneath the water, sunken boats and treasure wait. There's a lot of shipwrecks in the Great Lakes. Y is for the many yachts that race along the lake. Some are slow and quiet. Some leave a great big wake. I love boats too. Z is for the Detroit Sioux. It's fun as fun can be. Now you've discovered Michigan from the letters A to Z. The end. Okay, friends, that was so fun to read together. If you enjoyed this book and learning more about Michigan, please give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe, and we will see you next time.